So today I am still recovering from man flu, hence why I didn't do this video yesterday. Um, and it is the biggest game of the season so far. It is Arsenal versus Tottenham, the scum down the road. I don't care what we do, how we do it, we cannot fucking lose to this lot. We have to win this game. Um, obviously, it's going to be difficult. They're in fine form themselves. Um, our home record is five straight wins. So it's going to be lively, that's for sure. Every single Arsenal supporter at the stadium is going to be up for it. They always are in this game. Um, boost for us is the fact that Toby Alderweireld's out injured and he's out for a long time as well. So that's a big blow for Tottenham, which means that they'll probably move Eric Dia back into the centre-back position along with Davinson Sanchez and Vertonghen. Um, now, what do I expect? Um, well, I'll be honest with you, I'm quite nervous and if we play like we have done in the other big games this season, we are going to get absolutely taken apart. But with that being said, this is Arsenal and when Arsenal need to pull a result out of the bag, nine times out of ten we do. Hence why Arsene Wenger has kept his job for so fucking long. Uh, my 1-11 to for this game is as follows. Um, I am going with Petr Cech in goal. No need to debate that, he's our best goalkeeper. Left wing back, I am going with Say Kalasanak. Right wing back, Hector Bellerin. Now, the back three, I am going with Per Mertesacker in the middle, with Monreal left side and Koscielny right side. Koscielny didn't play in their second international game in midweek. Um, Wenger has said if he did, then he wouldn't be fit for this game. Um, obviously, he didn't play, so he's going to be starting this game. Now, my midfield pairing, I'm going with Mohamed El Nenny. I think that we're going to need that little bit of insurance in front of the back three to stop Ericsson and to stop Deli Alley making the runs in behind um, and to be running at the uh, the back three, really. And I think El Nenny's the perfect candidate for that. He's nothing fancy, he's nothing flash, but he just sits there and he'll mop up and pass to someone better. Next to him, I am going with Aaron Ramsey. I think he's done really well this season. Um, one of our better players and yes I am his biggest critic but credit where it's due he's done really well this season so that's my pairing uh, the two behind the striker I am going with Jack Wilshere I think he deserves a start he's been fantastic in the games he's played this season in Europa League um, and the cup games as well the uh, Carabao Cup I think he's been good as well and I think he deserves a start not only that he actually gets what this fixture means and there's not too many at Arsenal to get it. So I'd start him and I'd put him alongside Alexis Sanchez. Um, up top, there's only one candidate for this role and that is Alexander Lacazette, our top goal scorer this season. And this is where I want him to turn up. Imagine this guy bags a hat-trick against the scum. It would be delightful. Um, obviously, you've noticed I haven't put Mesut Ozil in my team. You've seen on this channel umpteen times over the season that I'm not his biggest fan. It's all well and good turning up against Everton and Swansea, but when he's required against a bigger team like Man City, he disappears as per fucking usual. So, sorry Mesut, you're on the bench, mate. That's my 1-11. to Now, what do I expect from the game? Um, like I just said, I think that it's going to be an edgy game. This could go one of a few ways. It depends what Arsenal turn up. Um, like I said, I don't think there's many at Arsenal to get it. Although I do think there's more at Arsenal to get it than there's, there is at Tottenham. Um, we've had the run over this lot for years, but in recent time, we haven't beaten them. The last time we beat them, Riziki scored a screamer at their place. And um, yeah, the, the game was dead after two minutes. That's obviously in the league. We beat them in the League Cup when uh, Flamini, of all people, scored a brace. But... Um, yeah, I'm, I'm struggling to find a way we can beat this lot. I mean, like I said, it does depend on how we play. If Alexis Sanchez turns up and he's been piss poor this season, if he turns up, he can spin a game on his own. So I really, really hope that we can just stop Deli Ali, stop Ericsson. If we do that, then we stop Harry Kane. Um, and hopefully when we get our chances, Lacazette's there to ping him in the back of the net. 
I'm going with a tight game. I am going to go with my head rather than my heart. My heart always wants Arsenal to win. But as it stands right now, I can't see that happening. And sadly, I am going for Arsenal 1, Tottenham 2. Please, please hope I'm wrong. I really, really hope we win this game. But I just can't see it, I'm afraid. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Um, obviously, you can tell I'm still bunged up, still under the weather. I look like fucking shit today. But there we go. I'll still put this video out there. So I hope you um, I hope you can press the like button and give me a like. Help me along my way. Follow my Instagram, LeeGunner82. And obviously my Twitter as well, LeeGunner82. Anyway, I'm out of here. Laters, peeps. Thank you.